we're going to be talking about forward kinematics and inverse kinematics. For this lecture, we're just going to talk about inverse kinematics, IK for short, and IK chains. So by default, MOHO uses what are called inverse kinematics or IK chains. For example, when I select this hand with my manipulate bones tool and I move it backwards and forwards, you can see that not only the hand is moving, but also the forearm and the arm. This is an example of inverse kinematics. It's basically when you take a bone that is a child of a parent, which we'll get into a little bit later, but this is set up as a child parent relationship. So just know that the hand is a child to the forearm. The forearm is a child to the arm, thus making the arm the parent of the forearm, making the forearm the parent of the hand. That might be a little bit confusing, so we have another lecture to explain that as well. But what I wanna focus on is your IK chain. Your IK chain can be seen when you click on your reparent bone tool. We talked a little bit about that when we're going over just these tools. So if I click on that, I can now see what my IK chain is. As you can see, the hand is connected to the forearm, the forearm is connected to the arm, and the arm is connected to the chest, which then connects to what is called the root bone right here, or the pelvis. So with this knowledge of this current IK chain, you know that anything connected to the arm that connects back to the forearm, that connects back to the hand, any movement that happens here or here will move this arm. So let's go back to our manipulate bones tool. When I move the hand, it's going to move the arm. When I move the forearm, it's going to move the arm. But now the next thing you're wondering is, okay, well, why isn't the arm moving the body? Well, the reason why, let's go ahead and open our IK chain one more time, is right here now, the IK chain is kind of being broken. That is to say that it is now being shared or it's branching off at this point. Not only do you have this arm, but you have this arm and the head that is also connecting back to this main chest bone. Now watch what happens when I reparent these bones. So now I'm going to remove completely the chain from the head to the chest, and I'm also going to completely remove this arm from the chest. So I'm gonna go back to this arm now with my manipulate bones tool, and I'm gonna move just the hand. Now remember, I just broke that chain. So watch what happens. Now you can see that not only is the hand affecting the forearm and the arm, but it is now affecting anything that that chain was connected to, which in this case was the chest, the stomach, and then the root bone is gonna stay in place always. So just like that, I broke my IK chain and now everything is becoming disconnected. Now for this arm, this arm is completely disconnected from anything. It's not connected by any sort of chain. So you could probably guess what's going to happen. Let's go ahead and grab this arm and manipulate it. You can see it completely pulls away from the body. The bones themselves aren't even moving. It's the artwork. This is Vector that this was all made from. If I select his t-shirt, as you can see the character designer, who was Oscar, he completely took this one layer and made hands, arms, and a shirt from it. So essentially when I go to my bone for this arm and I move it out away, it's basically grabbing the points that this arm influences and dragging those points with it. That's why you can see that that bone is not moving. So to be the same for the head, if I took the body and I now rotate it away, you can see the head is not connected. So one at a time, just to show how this chain works, I am now going to connect, I'm gonna disconnect the arm and I'm going to connect the head back to the chest. So now you can see that this is now one continuous chain. So if I were to move his head, then his neck were to move, following that would be his chest, then his stomach. So let me move his head. Now watch, don't watch the artwork, watch the bones. You can see that the bones themselves are now moving. This might be better illustrated with just the bones visible. So now that chain is broken. So let's go ahead and let's now put that back in place for the arms. So now I want to connect 
the arms to his chest. Now, as you can see, when I rotate this bone, the rest of the bones are now going to follow because that chain is connected back together again. So once again, remember, the IK chain is what is going to be connecting everything together. Inverse kinematics, which basically stands for the motion of an object without getting into technical or scientific terms. Usually this is used more for robotics, but in this particular case, just know it is the motion of an object. So in this case, this is an inverse motion. Whatever is moving this arm moves everything else in a snake-like manner. That is up until the IK chain itself is broke off or it is branched into other chains. And that is it for inverse kinematics and the IK chain. I will see you in the next lecture when we go ahead and talk about forward kinematics. I'll see you there.